Hey, so welcome back to the uh, semantic backup exit tutorial. Uh, in this video, I'll show you how to uh, restart backup exit services uh, using uh, services control. Okay. So currently, uh, yeah. Let me close uh, these windows. Okay, which we already open. Okay. Normally, if we look at the backup exit services, okay, uh, services.msc. So, I mean, we don't know uh, in which procedure, in which uh, order we need to restart these services because there are a lot of dependencies that are uh, there for this services right so if you look at device and media see it's completely depending upon uh, backup exec error recording service and rpc and uh, sql um, backup exec and if i go back and check the job engine properties the dependencies see these are all services that are dependent so we don't know in which order uh, we should restart the services and it is always not recommended to restart uh, disable the, these services manually without the uh, consulting backup exec vendor support so for that uh, as a backup administrator uh, i always recommend you to follow uh, a simple process but before uh, restarting backup exec services please make sure there are no jobs running at that time because the backup jobs will fail. So what you can do is you can just uh, suspend or uh, hold the backup jobs and then proceed with the restart of backup exec services. Okay, in order to restart the backup exec services, we have a very simple procedure. Uh, okay, just open the backup exec. Uh, GUI here the user interface what we have okay now click on this icon here which is there on the left top corner okay go to configuration settings click on backup exec services you should see a new pop-up window coming up okay so this is the window this is called backup exec services manager you can see here it's showing us all services as running what you can do is you can stop all services, you can start all services, you can restart all services, and also you can modify the credential of these running services. So I'll show you how to click on stop all services. So it will take uh, some time, okay, depending upon uh, yeah, the environment and uh, that it should not take maybe a couple of minutes i mean not, not more than a couple of minutes uh, okay so once it stop all the services we should get a timed out or uh, the the backup exec uh, user interface right the web interface should should say uh, timed out or something like that so it's stopping so it's saying it's stopping services one after the other now it's 71 percent looking good for run and i have only one services yeah it's remote agent stopping and i think final one will be error uh, reporting service so all the services are stopped here now see so this is a simple way and now click on start all services and this is procedure one to stop all services and to start all services okay and this will also take not more than a couple of minutes so it's already 42 percent and i can see uh, we have just two services and uh, yeah we have a uh, management service coming up and then only uh, the final one is uh, backup exit job engine so um, 
It's because I've seen so many local admins uh, or backup administrators uh, stopping and restarting uh, services manually and they end up uh, raising a, a support ticket with vendor because the services will not come up, especially the device and media or the backup exec server service or the job engine service, they will not come up. They will be in starting st state only. No matter if you reboot the server also, you will see the same uh, status. So now see, all the services are running and the next one uh, the next option you can go is just click on restart all services this is the other way to just stop and restart all services it will stop all the services first and it will automatically restart all the services So this procedure will take a uh, yeah, couple of minutes because uh, it will take a minute to stop all the services and to restart all the services. So, and if you look at uh, the event viewer log, okay, uh, I guess we should see all this stopping and restarting all the services quickly. Uh, let me take a, I'll show you because, and before actually stopping and restarting the services, as a backup administrator, you have to uh, take an approach from the customer if you are working for a customer and you know that's how the enterprise uh, support works. So I'll go to the, um, it's, um, it's taking time. I know stacks. Windows logs. Look at the application log here. I mean, it should capture the stop and restart of the services if I'm not wrong. And meanwhile, uh, let's see what is the current status here. Okay, it's still coming up. The services, okay, it's already stopped. It's coming up. It seems there is some issue with my snapping. So, what are the was? I like it, and uh, I'll reload it. That was always the, the best method uh, to troubleshoot in Windows or the uh, experience. So we can see all the services are up and running and yeah, this, the job engine is still coming up. Yeah, it will be up at any moment. Yeah, it's in starting. So yeah so that's it guys uh, we have two ways to restart the services using the service manager always remember and uh, keep watching the semantic backup exit tutorials and i'll be teaching so many tips and tricks uh, in my uh, coming videos thank you so much for watching and have a nice day